This is the plaintiff, Polly Ann Brezina. She says the defendant is a former tenant of hers, and when he moved out, he created a disaster. That's right, the guy drove his U-Haul truck over her porch steps. He scraped the entire four-foot side of her roof and gutters, and if that weren't bad enough, he also left her a ton of garbage to deal with. She can't get him to pay her for all the damages he caused and is suing him for the $1,890.35. She's owed. This is the defendant, Derek Kidwell. He says he's known the plaintiff for 16 years, and they used to be involved and had a sexual relationship. Everything was fine until he moved his fiance into the apartment. She raised his rent and then evicted him out of spite. Bottom line, he didn't hit anything with his U-Haul on the way out, and he owes this opportunistic woman nothing. He's accused of bad trucking. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $5,000 for duress. All parties, please use your right hand. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Millianton presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, Ms. Brezina, you were the landlord for Mr. Kidwell for how long? Uh, he moved in in uh, 2014. I'm sorry, 2016. Okay. And then at some point you gave him notice that you weren't going to renew him? That's correct. In December right. um, of 2019, I informed him that I would not be renewing the lease at the end of, I'm sorry, middle of March because I was planning to sell the house and relocate. Okay, and how is it that you notified him of that? Um, in conversation on our porch, uh, in multiple conversations that I was planning to move. Okay, and how did he take that? He understood that I was planning to start a new chapter of my life. My mother passed away in recent years. My daughter became an adult and moved out of the property. I had started a new relationship and was in the process of trying to figure out how I was going to move forward in my own life. And um, okay. I had inherited the property, right, so, so I was looking to sell it. So what brings you to court today? Because when he moved out, apparently, according to you, he created some damage. Tell me what happened. Um, when he moved out, he rented a U-Haul and to remove his belongings. And my neighbors actually witnessed him drive the U-Haul down the driveway and scrape the gutter about 40 feet along the side of the driveway. And at first he admitted that he had done it, came back and worked to try to bend the gutter in place and then said that he Whoa. did not do it and was not guilty. Can you do Prove me a it. favor? We can hear you. I need you to not, this oh, isn't a spectator so sport. It'll be I'm your sorry. turn in a moment, okay? Go yes, ahead. I apologize. Go on, go on, Ms. Brezina. So um, I had my gutter person come out. Um, the gutter is a seamless style that I had put on when the roof was replaced in 2014. So because both corners were damaged, there also had to be additional lengths replaced in order to make it appear uh, repaired appropriately. Okay, so let me ask you a question. What is the relationship between his mother and you? You guys are co-workers? What's the deal there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Derek was a neighbor, and um, I got introduced to his mother through him, actually. Um, my boyfriend at the time and Derek used to go surfing together. Um, he would come over frequently for dinners and stuff. Um, and when the apartment became vacant, I offered it to him as a place to live. All right, so... Mr. Kidwell, she says you damaged her gutters when you were leaving. Is that accurate? No, ma'am. Um, when I was driving the U-Haul truck out, um, my uncle was actually with me and my fiance at the time. And she has, she has a tree that you can see in the video. There's actually, she has a, what, just show the video. And the video says it all. What I'd like to hear from you is first, what is your testimony? According to you, you did not hit the, the gutters? I, 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 she made it to where I was scared to go outside. Literally, I didn't even want to go outside my house because once my fiance moved back inside, she made it so uncomfortable. I didn't even want to go outside. I lit and, I, and literally, I had, a, I had a seizure. I got out of the hospital. She never gave me any warning to move out because prove it. I mean, prove that. She never gave me a warning to move out. I never had a warning. I, and, then, and then all of a sudden, I get back with my fiance. And then all of a sudden, I had to move out right after I had a seizure, and they held me in the hospital for five days right after the coronavirus. When did you move out, Mr. Kidwell? 
April 3rd. What is the day of the video? If you're moving out on April 3rd, then why do I have video that's not on April 3rd? It's probably because it's on April that. 8th. It, that is, it, that's, I have, I have, I have hippocampus disease, so I have short-term memory loss, so I get things misconstrued because I'm on disability. Okay. So I'm, I kind of get dates confused, but okay. my, I started my lace April 3rd, so I don't understand how it could be April 8th. Because you stayed a few days, that's why. Uh, Probably because okay. you had been in the hospital. Right. And it because, wasn't right, until, right. what day did he move out, Ms. Uh, Brazina? It was actually a couple of days after the 8th until all of the items were removed from the apartment. Now, according to you, he did this damage to the gutters. Yes. That branch hit that, hit that gutter with the U-Haul. Well, what hit that the branch? branch? The, Did the your U-Haul hit there, the branch? There, there, yes, well, then there wasn't clearance work. for you to drive the U-Haul through. That's not the right, branch's only, fault. That would still be your fault. What is this? Is this flattened way. out? Yes, that's a gutter drain that's that been, was flattened from the tire path, and there was another gutter drain that was flattened in the front of the property from the tire path of the U-Haul. It also ran over a stair that adjoins to the driveway and crushed tile that I had installed in December. Let me see the videos. Right. Like you said, the video says it all, so let's see the video. Right. Okay, so they turn around. They, they're hearing something. They turn around, and then the U-Haul's coming out. Yeah, there's the U-Haul coming out. <laughs> yep. And everyone thinks something happened because the first thing he does is pick up the phone. I presume he's calling you, Ms. Brezzino? Uh, I don't know that no, he called he, me at that instance. He may have contacted his wife. <laughs> Mr. Kidwell, why are you running out and what is he, he pointing to? It's, it looks pretty clear that you see that you hit the gutter. Look at you turning around, walking uh, out there to uh, go uh, see uh, what uh, happened. I, 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 knew, I knew something had happened. I just didn't know what. I just didn't know what it was because there was only one way in and out. And... She said that I had to be out after in one day. Right. She was charging me right, but maybe you have to be inconvenienced and you have to carry your stuff to the street where the U-Haul fits. You see, that doesn't change whether or not you could fit this well, big U-Haul in that I, one I, way I, in and out. I, I couldn't because I just got out of the hospital from being, being uh, uh, from having a seizure for five days and being hooked up to IVs for five days straight. And then we had the pla basically a plague, and the governor shut the whole um, state down and said nobody move out. And then she kicked me out. Okay, it's not that's not ex. exactly that's not exactly because you got back with your ex. Let me ask you a question: When did you date her? Did you date her? Did you have a thing with the plaintiff? When? Yes, ma'am. When? It was, uh, before she was with this guy Troy. I don't know when she got all, with Troy, all, so how all, about you just all, spit out a month and a year? From the time I moved in until six months before I moved out. Okay, and were you with your fiancé while you were having a relationship with your landlord? Well, we were talking, but we weren't that serious. We were just, we weren't in a, we weren't committed to each other. We were kind of talking to other people. But, 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 we, but we were, we knew we were in love. Ms. Brezina, did you have a, a thing with the defendant? No, not even close. Never? Not even a kiss. No, never? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What a lie. Wow, two people wow. under oath giving a diametrically opposed uh, story. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? All right. Wow. I'm looking at your lawsuit and you have, you're suing wow. for numerous things. Okay, all right, we heard your wow, the first seven wows. I'm, That'll I'm do. I'm so sorry, I'm so um, sorry. That's all right. So now let's look at your lawsuit because you're suing for several things. You're suing for rent from the eight days in April that he stayed over because he didn't pay any April rent. Is that correct? Correct. Ms. Brezino, and no, you're, what you're suing for is the... $240, which is $30 per day. Is that correct? Correct. Mr. Kidwell, did you pay April rent? Yes, ma'am. I, I had paid her $50 a day. She charged me $50 a day. Show me proof that you yes, paid it. I gave her cash. Show me proof you paid it. Then when people give cash, they get a receipt for the cash. Show me the receipt. 
Well, we were set friends for 16 years, so I never got a receipt ever. I mean. Did he pay you any rent for April? No, ma'am. Really? Oh, my God. All right. So now I see in this video, there's a second video. This is another camera, different camera angle, correct? Boom. There's you hitting the branch that crushes the, the branch. The, the, yeah. Yeah, you right. can't when, hit the branch. When, Don't when, take when the, the truck back there. Oh, for the love of all that's holy. Well, all it, right, it, let's it, talk it, about it, how it, he it, left it, because it, according it, to it, you, it, he the left the place the a mess in. as well. Ms. Brazina, what are you complaining about in these pictures? Um, the towel bar had been removed got from it. the wall. You can see there's a missing black piece. Yeah, I got it. What's in the replace. next one? It was just the dirt and disgusting under the sink drain. You can see a little on the floor. What's this a picture of? That one just has a mildewed shower curtain, but as you'll scroll through, you see um, well, well, dog scratches on the door What do you expect after four jams. years? I'm sorry, that's a $3 exactly. shower curtain. That's All what right, I what, is, what am I... For the curtain. Yeah, okay, what, what, what's this supposed to be a picture of? Just exactly. rusty garbage, you know, the rusty shower caddy had been left behind. Things I had to throw away, things that I needed to clean, things that I needed to paint. Those stickers <laughs> needed to be removed from the doors. I didn't put those stickers... Oh my! Those are scratches from their dog who was locked in the bathroom. My, I never, I would never lock my dog in the bed. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I would never. Who would lock their dog in the bathroom? Oh my gosh! It's in. I left in What's immaculate this? condition. That's a bed frame that, that he had used was during the course. Mr. Of Kidwell. Mr. Kidwell, give me a second. I'm going to give you the floor in just a moment. First, I got to ask her I'm about so stuff, sorry. and then I'll ask you your response. Lies. It's I'm okay. Just... Okay. Go ahead, Ms. Brazina. What is this a picture of? The bed frame that was there and the end tables were furniture that was supplied when he took occupancy in the apartment. So you why are you taking a picture of it and entering it into evidence? What is it I'm supposed to see from this picture? Because he, the bed Do frame you was the yours. Of... Do you see the piece of Ms. plywood Bezina. that stretched across the, yeah. the base of the frame that actually yeah. bowed it out of shape that was not original to the piece of furniture? My, my, my contractor had to remove that and repair it and rescrew in the metal frame pieces. Right, but you can also see in that right, picture the where only the reason why Stop, Ms. Brazina, the only reason why somebody does that is because the bar that was actually there busted. The bar, exactly, the bar busted. because it was... I couldn't, yeah, that's silly. That's Thank not going to, he doesn't have to pay for that. What's going on busted. here? After five years right. of living Go, there. What is, what is going on here? Broken, what is this a picture of? Broken, broken mini blinds, the blinds with, um, yeah, with her just uh, trying to uh, scream me. ties holding She's it just up. trying to scream me. Okay, Mr. Kidwell, I have a text from you to her saying, hey, Polly, I'm not saying I didn't nick the gutter. I'm not saying I didn't. I am never somebody well, that does something and them. doesn't take responsibility. Blah, 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 blah. You admit that you hit the gutter. And I can see it on the video, just like you said. If the video speaks volumes. Right, it, right, it, right, it, right. Basically. Because, because, I saw, right. because I saw the branch. What's uh, this TV that you're it? suing for, ma'am? In each of the apartments I have on I the triplex, there is a TV that was wall-mounted in the living room. When Derek moved in, actually shortly after, um, it's my understanding that he hung on the TV, and the TV mount was ripped out of the wall. So why is that your understanding? Stop a second, Miss Brazina. Why, why is that your understanding? He told my daughter that's what happened. Why are you suing for nine hours to clean out a refrigerator, Miss Brazina? Exactly. Nine exactly. hours. It's not, everything immaculate condition. Would speak with my. My witness, Carla Dorfler, she'll tell you how long it took her to clean the kitchen cabinets and the... I mean, I agree with you that might need a little bit of cleaning, but where do you, where do you get this nine hours worth of cleaning? The stove's pretty bad. I'll be glad to so let let's see the pictures Dorfler of the... speak. I did now, not I'm not, I, I don't really need like to that. hear from somebody else. I need to look at pictures because the pictures are what tell me what's the problem with that fridge that it takes nine hours to clean because I've been cleaning my whole life. That's not going to take nine hours. Welcome back to the People's Court. I'm Harvey Levin. The plaintiff wants the defendant to pay uh, for damaging her gutters and her roof with his big truck. But the defendant says that he didn't hit the plaintiff's house with his truck. Her tree branches did. Let's go back into the courtroom. It wasn't just the refrigerator that Ms. Dorfler cleaned. She also cleaned out the kitchen cabinets, the Lazy Susan 
the the interior of the cabinets. I did the exterior of the cabinets. I painted the walls. I prepped all the woodwork from the uh, dog claw marks. I patched walls where there were holes. She's saying my dog clawed the walls. Here's the thing, ma'am. You're suing $240 for 16 hours of cleaning, painting, etc. And then you're suing for $225 hour, dollars for nine hours of cleaning out the fridge and the kitchen cabinets. I think you're getting a little look greedy, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, look but at the we're, pictures. Uh, yep, I, I'm, I just showed the pictures. We're done. Everybody, please stop talking. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. It's all right. I know you're very emotional about this. And I know that you're emotional for she two reasons. I know that friends there forever. I know. But you have to understand this is business. Yes, ma'am. You just got to let this go. And you got to understand that you have real friends elsewhere. Right? Like the person next yes, to you is trying to calm you down and stuff. That's a real friend. OK? She was your landlord. And this is business. And we need to get the business concluded. Yes, ma'am. Um, as far as the rent is concerned, I agree with you that he owes you prorated rent for the days that he continued to be there. As far uh, as the gutters are concerned, I find in your favor in the amount that you're asking, because I know, because I've actually been through that too, that when you, part of it is ripped off, you cannot make the seamless gutter again unless you, you have. It's a big job. I know it's a big job. Yes. And, um, and, and there's no conflicting... Uh, estimate given to me on um, behalf of the defendant, the porch, I can see where um, the gutters were sm smashed and the porch was smashed. It was an accident, but it still costs money to fix. As far as the cleaning, I think you're the being bridge. a little bit greedy, and I'm going to reduce that. Um, I'm uh, awarding you $100 in cleaning fees. And as far as the TV is concerned, my understanding is that you're suing because he took with him the TV that he replaced we're talking about an old model TV, and he is right when he says in the text that he shouldn't have to pay 250 for a new replacement when it was an old TV. You don't get the new value of replacing the item. You get the value of the damaged I'm item at the time that it's damaged. I'm going to deduct the from the amount that I'm finding in your favor the $450 of the security deposit that he gets credit for. And that leaves damages in the amount of $1,021.25. And I am ruling in her favor, not in the amount that she's asking for. I am giving you credit for the 450 security deposit. And most of what I am awarding her is, in fact, the actual damage of the gutters that's on video. So I don't know what you're so upset about. $1,021.25 verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you, Your Honor. Well, the plaintiff does prevail, but she, she does not get exactly what she wanted, just $1,021. Mr. Kidwell, let me ask you a question. You claimed you had a, a sexual relationship, a secret relationship for, with her for a long time. She says there was no such real, not even a kiss. How do you, how do you feel about that? Disgusted. Disgusted. Because 16 years I've known her. Disgusted. You but, know, you but kept saying... I'm sorry. All through the trial, you said she's lying. She's lying. It's not true. It's not true. Really? Was she lying all the way? Look at the picture, yeah. sir. Look at the picture. She said, I, I, I destroyed the whole house. She said, I left it a mess. She said she spent uh, nine hours cleaning a uh, refrigerator. Who spends nine hours cleaning out a refrigerator? Totally. Right. Well, illegal. look, the judge heard the testimony, and that's the decision. Okay, you owe her $1,021. That's the verdict. Let's talk to Ms. Rosina now, see how she feels about it. Ms. Rosina, he, uh, as you know, he claimed he had this relationship, a secret relationship with you. What did you think about that when you heard him charge that? That's ridiculous. I met Derek in 2012 when I moved back to this property from Orlando. So there was never any romantic relationship. In fact, on the the day he moved in, we took a walk on the beach with my daughter, and I told him that I wanted him to have no misconception there was not going to be any relationship of any type between he and I, and that he was a tenant, and that this was a business relationship for him to move into my property. All right. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. That'll wrap it up for this case. Now let's join the judges for another session of After the Verdict.
In this case, you had a video that showed the defendant driving down that alley in what looked like, what, about a 20-foot U-Haul truck? It was, it was a pretty big, big U-Haul truck. truck. It was a big truck. And I, you didn't seem to have any doubt that from that video you could see that he hit the tree, which hit the corner of the gutter, and really kind of wrecked it. Yeah, right? I mean, you saw it too, right? Like, Absolutely. I, yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. I just think he, that he shouldn't have been maybe bringing that big a truck back. That You right. still have to watch what you're doing and make sure you have clearance. Yeah, of course, and then as if to remove all doubt, he sends her the text message where he says, I'm not saying I didn't wreck your gutter. Right. And I'm not the sort of guy who doesn't take responsibility when he does wreck gutters. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> so that was kind of in the mix, I assume, yeah, as well. I, I kind of feel bad for the defendant because I, I do think that there was emotion involved for him. Definitely. Uh, whether, minimum, whether they actually had a relationship or not is I a different I have no matter. idea and I don't care. Right. But uh, right. it, th there, there was a lot of emotion Absolutely. attached to all this for him. Not a good thing between a landlord and tenant to have No, that probably not. Not very healthy. You probably know, not. as people who have been landlords and tenants, uh, both of us, and you know, every now and then a tenant back in the day would leave behind a few things. It's not uncommon. But here's a little pro tip for tenants. Don't leave a car battery. Okay? Oh, yeah. That was I mean, one of the things battery. she was complaining about right. that he left all kinds of I mean, kinds car batteries weigh 41, 50 pounds, something like that. I don't know how much. but And they leak acid, yeah. which ask me how I know that they, that they how, leak how acid. How do you know? How do you know? Because I picked one up at the store, and I held it against my shirt. And I walked out of the store. I got to the car, and about... 15 minutes later, the whole front of my jacket just <laughs> melted away. <laughs> so uh, Was yeah. I with you during this? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you were. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. You well, sent me back to the store. I sent you back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, you can't take this line down. But uh, so, we straightened it out. So Kathy wants to know this. Hey, Harvey, uh, I let a friend borrow money when I was living in Massachusetts, and they were living in New Jersey. Now I live in Florida, and I want to sue. Where do I file? Well, Kathy, you certainly get around. <laughs> um, here's the deal. You can sue either where the defendant lives or where the contract was made. So that gives you two options in two states. Um, and that's all you got. The third state, sorry. That will do it for this case. Litigants are inside the courtroom for the next one.